In this video, we'll discuss what is a data only hotspot and how much can you earn with one such device. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel, iGenTech. So what is a data only hotspot? It is a kind of helium hotspot that can earn HNT only by data packets transfer and it cannot participate in proof of coverage challenge like regular hotspots. So you will not see activities like creating a challenge, sent beacon or witnessed beacon in a data only hotspot and you will see only transferred packets activity. So let us check out a few examples. The first one in my list is this hotspot Sparkly Zinc Hawk which is located somewhere in Germany. And you can see this is a data only hotspot and this is the HNT earning in the last 24 hours. And you can see this is a large number. In fact, it's much higher than the network average. If you look at the last seven days of earning, you can see that the network average is about 0.128 HNT and it earned more than 0.6 HNT every day. If you look at the last 30 days of earning, it's 11.57 HNT. And you can see initially it was mostly zero and it grew tremendously over the past few days. If you go to the activity tab, you will see that it has only packets transfer kind of activity and it has earned HNT because of performing packets transfer. However, interestingly, it has transferred a huge amount of data. For example, you can see these data uh, packets are huge and like in sizes of several MBs, which is kind of strange and pretty uncommon. And as a result of transferring so many packets, it has managed to earn so much of HNT. However, don't get excited by looking at this number. This is a huge number of HNT given that it's a data only hotspot. In fact, it's currently being debated whether this particular hotspot is a legitimate one or not. And I'll try to give my explanation later on in this video. For now, let us check a few other data only hotspots which are more practical or are legitimate. So here's the second example, uh, Brave Sandstone Mouse. It's currently located in the North Sea uh, if you zoom out, you can see that uh, it's located in the North Sea, close to Netherlands. And it's actually currently installed in a wind farm, which look like this. So one of these wind farms. And let us look at this its activity. So you can see that it has transferred packets, which are like a few packets, a few bytes in size, up to few KBs in size. And let me try to find this example. So you can see that one packet, which is has the minimum size of 24 bytes. And to send 24 bytes, the IoT device has to spend one data credit. And one data credit has a value of, this is a, it has a fixed value, which is 0 $0.00001. So whenever one data credit is spent to send some amount of information through your hotspot, you earn equivalent amount of dollar. So basically 0 $0.00001 for each data credit. And it is converted into HNT. Uh, given the market price and that amount of HNT is rewarded to your account. So you can see that these amounts of HNTs are really very small. So if you look at uh, the statistics and last 30 days of earning, it says, says zero, which is basically telling you that the earning from last one month is less than 0.001 HNT. That is why it's, it's showing to be zero. Uh, if you take another example here, uh, this is also located in Netherlands and the earning from this one is 0 0.003 HNT in the last one month. So if you install your own data only hotspot, you are going to earn most likely like this amount or even lower, depending on how many IT hotspots you have in your vicinity. So if you want to check other data only hotspots, you can actually go to this account and you will see that there is a bunch of other hotspots and I think most of those are data only. You can just check case by case. So this is also data only, for example. Now let us come back to the question of how the first example, the first data only hotspot is earning so much HNT. Uh, it is entirely possible that it's somehow exploiting the network. Uh, there's a small probability for that, but I would think this is actually legitimate and it's most likely some business which is trying to develop some new hardware and it's testing out its new hardware before deployment. Uh, the reason behind is that it cannot simply earn HNT. 
you can see that it has to it is earning HMT by transfer of information from IoT devices and those IoT devices need to be registered to the, registered to the Helium network and to transfer information it has to spend data credits for that they have to spend money so basically you can say that they have spent money to buy data credits and those data credits are now transferred back to their wallet through HNT by this data transfer process. So it's a highly unlikely that this is a case of some type of spoofing or exploitation. Uh, another reason I can tell you is that if you look there is another hotspot beside it which uh, if you click on that you will see this is a regular hotspot it's a neighbor hotspot and if you go to the activity you will see that uh, it has also performed data packets transfer which are, which are in huge amount. So most likely they are testing uh, their setup through the through a data only hotspot as well as a regular hotspot. So this is my guess behind this situation. All right, let's say you still want to buy a data only hotspot. So where can you buy one? I know about only a single manufacturer which is uh, Dragino. There might be other manufacturers which are co coming in. So uh, you can find it in the Rockland store and the current price of this one is about $280. And this is for uh, US because the frequency is 915 MHz. In future, more manufacturers for the data only hotspots might be coming in the market. You have to wait for that. I hope this information was useful to you. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.